So I'm backing up some old DVDs from my collection. Uh, one of the many projects I'm working on currently. Sometimes the image is very poor. In this case, a terrible interlace effect ruins the viewing experience. Um, I've searched for a solution online, and Virtual Dub is a software that I'm using along with uh, its box blur and sharpen filter. Uh, that, that's what remedies this. Um, it, uh, it only accepts AVI, video file format, uh, and uh, if you're, so if you're using an MP4, uh, if, you, if you have an MP4 file, uh, MAV or, or any other format, you will have to convert it first. You'll have to transcode it in something like uh, free software like Blender. Um, I can recommend Blender uh, because it has an uh, an AVI raw format that you can export. Um, the on the the unfortunate side of that um, is that the file that you'll export will be extremely large. So right now I'm you can see here the um, the the, the uh, excuse me the interlacing effect that I'm trying to get rid of. It, it doesn't last very long. It's on this one frame, and then you get other effects here, interlacing effects that are pretty awful. Like I say, it ruins the experience. Now using virtual dub, let's see. Okay, I have imported the um, the video here as AVI just as a test uh, just a sample and I have added as you can see here you can add filters you have a, an array of options and I have chosen the box blur and you can see the options here or well, the settings that I've used so radius 4 and uh, filter power so let's see I'm going to reduce this in size and you can see it'll be a little bit warped but it warps the pixels a little bit but uh, e let's see if I if I make this what it was before so let's say I show preview again I make it 50% there we go all right, so let's get to the scene that is completely screwed up. Here we go. All right. I am going to now add... Well, I could probably see it here a whole lot better. So show preview. And I'm going to then change the setting to radius. I think it was... I'll try to show preview and you can see that it's improved a little bit it's gonna get very blurry but now all right it's actually quite good not that it, it's not perfect or anything but okay show preview again oh okay not you can't go higher than or I'll try three. I, I think I did three before. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm making it four. And this quadratic, let me see if I make it three, what happens? Okay, so there's really no sign of the lines anymore. I, I want to keep it that way. Now, I'm also using sharpen. And that should sharpen the image because this box blur obviously blurs the image so you don't get that uh, interlacing uh, distortion and sharpen uh, makes it a little sharper but it's far from perfect so what I'm going to do is once I have once I have this process done I'm going to try I'm going to try using this software here which is Topaz Video Enhance AI, which I purchased. I guess I can close that. And what this should do, oh, you know, well, I can't do it just yet. Uh, what this should do is sharpen the image, adding detail and uh, a little bit of grain 
to make it look like a, a film, a proper film. Um, so that's what I should be able to do to enhance the image and basically restore it to something that I can watch and enjoy. Alright, so that's what I'm up to today. There you go.